Welcome to VIP TV, South Florida's number one lifestyle and entertainment TV show with your host, Anna Maria Reyes, Jennifer Riley, Melissa Garcia, and Jenna Stoffer. Hi everyone, welcome to VIP TV. I am Jenna Stoffer. Today we are kicking off the show with the fabulous Miami Dolphin cheerleaders, and then we are conquering my stomping grounds, the Florida Keys, and finishing up at an exclusive party with DJ Irie and Jamie Foxx. All that and much more right here on VIP TV. Hey guys, welcome to VIP TV. I'm Melissa Garcia. And I'm Jennifer Riley. This episode of VIP TV kicks off the NFL season, and we're checking in with the Miami Dolphin cheerleaders. Sports and cheerleaders, you guys can't ask for more. Hey VIP TV, this is your host Jessica Nunez and we are here at Hard Rock Stadium for the Miami Dolphins Cheerleader Calendar Unveiling and Fashion Show. We're going to take a look behind the scenes. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Hi, we're excited. We can't wait for the show to start. Very excited, a little bit nervous, but ready for the show. What advice can you give younger girls that look up to you guys that make it in calendar? I think something that's very important is for them to just be themselves, have fun, and be confident with whatever they have. Yeah, definitely. Um, be confident in your own skin. Um, we're all very different, um, but we come together and unite for the calendar, and it's, it's awesome. And just the confidence and knowing your true beauty is. So Paige, I got a really important question. Okay. Are you ready? to eat pizza oh today God. after the show. <laughs> I am so excited to eat pizza, like cheeseburgers, everything. Anything that's put in front of me, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat it and have no problem doing so. <laughs> Meg, tell me how does it feel to be the second time in the calendar? Thanks so much for having me, Jess. It feels incredible. This is my second year, like you said, and it's just such an honor. It, it really feels like the first time all over again that I'm seeing my designs on the Miami Dolphins runway. It's just an incredible honor, and I'm so humbled to be here, really. So how does it feel to be in America? Eh, es muy emocionante, es todo muy nuevo y es una experiencia hermosa tanto para mí como para todas las chicas internacionales que formamos parte del equipo. Las audiciones fueron muy difíciles, había mucha gente, muchas chicas muy buenas. So how do you feel? I am so shocked, honestly. I mean, it's like a shock every year. My first year was a shock. Second year, I was even more shocked. And third year, this like never happened. So I'm so shocked, but I'm so blessed and happy. And this is an unforgettable experience. And what advice can you give girls out there? You know, like you have to go after it and you have to work so hard. And I mean, every day I'm after it. We're going to the gym, we're eating healthy, we're practicing till 10.30 o'clock sometimes. And I mean, if you put in the hard work, you're gonna achieve your goal and it's gonna be really great. Three words about the show. It was hot, hot, hot. You should have been here. You can purchase these calendars on dolphinscheerleaders.com. For VIP TV, I'm Jessica Nunez. Hi everyone, I am Jenna Stauffer with VIP TV. We are in Key West at everyone's favorite spot, that is Sunshine Scooters. If you're visiting the island, this has to be your very first stop. We're gonna take you inside, show you why Sunshine Scooters is the best. We are inside Sunshine Schooners with the owners, John and Sherry Brenner. John and Sherry, thank you so much for inviting us in here today. It's beautiful in here, I love it. Thank you. You guys are getting ready to celebrate five years. Why did you decide to start Sunshine Scooters? Um, we had moved down from Michigan about four years prior to that and we're living in Fort Pierce and uh, saw that there was an opportunity and came on down and gave it a shot. It's been a good decision that you made, don't you think, Sherry? It's been a great decision, <laughs> and everybody's wonderful, and 
Now we are in one of two locations. Talk with us about this location on Roosevelt. Um, this is our main location. This is where we do all of our rentals. Um, we also have a retail end of things. Um, we sell SYM and Lance scooters. Actually in 2015, we were the largest dealer in the country. So we're kind of proud of that. And uh, the other location is on Duval and Caroline and we do just rentals out of there. Now tell me about your scooters. I don't know that much about scooters. I do like driving a car, but I know when you're on the island, the best way to get around is by scooter. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, this location has plenty of parking for people. A lot of people will drive in from the mainland, uh, park their cars here for free with us, and then jump on a scooter. And Scooters Downtown has free parking for all scooters, bicycles, and things like that. So it makes it a nice mode of transportation to explore downtown. How much does it cost to rent a scooter? Um, it's about, we do four hours all day, weekly. Uh, the four hours is about $40. All week is just under $200 on average. Now, tell us a little bit about the scooters that are around us right now, Sherry. These scooters are all for sale. It's our showroom of the new scooters. Um, we also have the used scooters for sale. What we do is take out of our fleet, we replace our fleet every year, and um, we sell those as used, so it's only a year old. But these are all the brand new ones. Mm -hmm. Now, is it hard for someone who's never driven a scooter before to get on one of your scooters and not get in an accident? Um, we have very few accidents. Um, we're pretty protective of them. They have to go through a scooter school up here, make sure that they can ride it in the parking lot before we launch them out into the streets of Key West. So you're safe then here at Sunshine Scooter. We try to be as safe as possible. <laughs> the people who are driving might not be that safe, but you guys are at least safe. We do <laughs> All right, tell us some other things about Sunshine Scooters that the majority of us don't know. Um, here at the main location, not only the rentals, but the sales, we have an extensive service department too. We do a lot of work, not only on our own for warranty, but we also do um, this brand uh, service for everybody in the community too. We also have free pickup at the airport. You just call us when you're flying in and we'll pick you up. If you make an advanced reservation online, you get a discounted rate too. It's a lot lower than just walking in. And what are your hours here at Sunshine Scooters? Uh, at this location, we're here seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And our Duval and Caroline location, seven days a week, 9 to 4. Great hours. Any way I can get on a scooter right now, you guys? Yeah. Absolutely. We can teach you. <laughs> yes. We're in Key West. Be sure to stop by Sunshine Scooters. I can't wait to get on my scooter and ride it like a rental. I am Jenna Stoffer with VIP TV. We'll see you soon. Melissa, when you visit, it is a must you ride on a scooter. Absolutely. That's a great daytime activity. But you know what's a great nighttime activity? Watching the explosive duo Jamie Foxx and DJ Irie. They really know how to light it up. Let's check it out. Beautiful scenery, beautiful people, and best of all, beautiful hearts here once again at the Shawborn Hotel in Miami Beach. I'm Anna Maria Reyes, and we're at the official kickoff concert for the 12th annual Irie Weekend. And we have a special surprise because we have Grammy and Oscar Award winner Jamie Foxx, who's going to be performing all of his top hits on stage. Now, remember, the number one excuse is always blame it on the alcohol. We're going to see that and so much more. Let's go. What brought you out here today? You know, when, I, when I played here for the Dolphins, Ivy always showed show love for me. And so when he asked me to come, I said, hell yeah. So I was honored to be back here. But, you know, my, my own stomping grounds and seeing old friends and then giving back to the community. This is one of the signature events. Tonight, your good friend Jamie Foxx stepped up. It all works out because he's a Grammy award-winning artist. So yeah, yeah. Who, who better to be nominated here? but winning. Winning, exactly, exactly. So what can we expect from the performance? going to be uh, blaming on the uh, 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 I mean, how can you not blame it on the alcohol, right? Right. So, but here's the cool thing about it is, um, you know, Fox just has fun. I mean, he knows to get the crowd into it. He is not scripted. He's unscripted. You know what I mean? So you never know what's going to come. You never know when it's going to come. But you know you're going to be engaged and have a great time. All right. And then tomorrow is the golf tournament and many more yeah. events this weekend. How, when My do you sleep? Favorite. My favorite. Like, how do you
didn't Wait, get through this week. First of all, sleep and Ari Leakin doesn't even go together. Sleep and Ari doesn't even, go together. That don't even sound right. <laughs> Talk to me about what it means to support this great cause. Uh, it just means a lot. You know, he does a lot in the community with his foundation. and uh, He's at all our games, and he brings good energy to our game. So it's just nice to do the same for somebody else for their cause and uh, just having a good time tonight. Uh, forgot that we're all white, but hopefully no one recognizes. It's okay. No one, you know, I think a lot of people forgot that tonight, so you're All good. Right. So are you looking forward to seeing Jamie Foxx perform today on the stage? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, it, it's, it's amazing when people here in Miami give back to the community. Everybody wants to come down and show up, so we all have a really good time. One of my best friends loved Jamie Foxx, and when I told him I was coming, he was super jealous. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, but uh, just having a good time, meeting new people. It should be a good night. So now we're all hot and sweaty, and yeah, my hair looks like this. But it was such a fun and amazing night, and there's no better way to end it than right here on stage with DJ Irie and Jamie Foxx, who sang all of his top hits. Now there's a lot more action going on the next couple days, so check out irieweekend.com for more information. For VIP TV, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. This is Justice Winslow, and you're watching VIP TV. VIP TV. We're here at the Sea Fair in Miami Beach for an evening of stars. Seeing stars, that is. Kavita Shanae here with VIP TV, where Brent and Miko Grimes invite us for a night to remember. And you're about to find out exactly what I'm talking about. How did you get with Seeing Stars Foundation and put this event together? Well, I was just out looking for a charity that kind of donates to CTE and brain research. I didn't really want to just focus on professional athletes. I also wanted to include children that play sports and just try to get the word out that this disease is very important. It's something we should really be focused on because as you can see, it's happening more and more and it's only going to get worse if we don't learn to educate. You know, the game can be played, but we have to be honest about some of the, the things that are happening. Let's be honest, have honest conversations about this so that we can move forward if the sport it's going to continue. I'm not seeing stars anymore, but I'm seeing plenty of stars around us tonight. Those are the stars I'm interested in, not those other ones. So we've looked at about 400 retired NFL players. Uh, about 42 to 43 percent of them had um, objective evidence on advanced MRI type imaging of traumatic brain injury. We correlated that with neuropsychological testing to show you know, certain deficits in memory, attention, concentration, trouble with processing speed, which is how fast you kind of assimilate information. So we're going to continue to, to evaluate players. We're now looking at long-term effects, things like Alzheimer's disease and chronic traumatic encephalopathy. How many concussions have you had exactly? Um, I would guess around about 20 or 30 of them. And what was the experience like for you? Were you seeing stars? Of course, you're seeing stars when you wake up, actually, you know what I mean? Uh, if you don't get knocked out, you know, you're just kind of in a dizzy, starry moment, like trying to recover, you know, and play the next play. With a lot of my friends and the people I play with, you know, the things we're going through uh, with, with our head and uh, the after effects of football, you know, definitely need some awareness raised and, and some precautions and, and things taken of that nature to, to uh, make the game safe. When I get hit, the stars that I've seen, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's tough, but you learn to just continue to move on from it. You know, as competitors, you don't let a lot affect you, you know, when your mind is on winning. You know, so we block it all out, man. And, you know, the good thing is you have events like this where you raise awareness. And when you're young, you don't know what you should really sign up for, and the game kind of takes a toll on you unconsciously. You really don't know what you what you're doing, you're just giving it 100% effort. Well, I have to tell you, I think she likes you because I'm feeling kicks. <laughs> Most of these guys are probably in the concussion, lawsuit, settlement, and it's nasty. You know, is everybody talking about, uh, you know, doctors and lawyers, and nobody's talking about treating no one. No one's talking about how can we treat everybody and make them better. So that's what I hope to provide and be able to accomplish. Tonight, we got to see so many stars come together to raise awareness and funds for the Seeing Stars Foundation. Shout out to Brent and Miko Grimes for all the work that they're doing. And if you want information on how you can contribute, please feel free to visit seeingstarsfoundation.org. For VIP TV, I'm Kavita Shanae, and we'll see you next time. From the hottest stars to the hottest sauce, 
VIP TV Conquers the Keys is checking out one of the hottest spots in the Keys, Peppers of Key West. Let's go. I am Jenna Stauffer with VIP TV. Get ready to experience the best hot sauce store in the Florida Keys. Let's go. One of the best parts of Peppers of Key West is definitely the tasting bar that you see behind us. I love it, Pete, because people can walk in, they can come up to the tasting bar, they can try out the sauces before they take them home. Absolutely. That's part of the fun uh, we have here in the store. There's about 100 things on the bar that you can try, from really mild to really hot. But what I like about it is you know what the sauces taste like, and you know what to do them with them you know, when you go home with them. Tell us, what is the best hot sauce that you have in the store? A lot of people ask that, but I always ask them, what am I going to put it on? Our, for my personal favorite, our best seller in the store is our Asian marinade. Just in case Key West days are not hot enough for you, add some heat to your next visit by stopping at Peppers of Key West, located at 602 Green Street. I am Jenna Stauffer with VIP TV. Spice out, everyone. What's up guys, Paige here in this Geisha gear for VIP TV. Halloween is just a few days away, but we're bringing in the scary and sexy a few days early at this star-studded charity event hosted by the Berman Law Group. We're at the fourth annual Fright Night here at Blue Martini in Boca. Lots of celebs in the house. I can promise you they'll be real, they'll be real funny, and there'll be plenty of ridiculousness. So let's go check out the costumes. How you doing tonight? Doing awesome. You know, our tagline is committed to the community, and you're about to see that. We don't just say it, we live by it. We have the whole community coming together. We're dressing up, having fun for our fourth annual Fight Night fundraiser, supporting an awesome charity, the Unicorn Children's Foundation. Talk to us a little bit about your mission and what you guys are looking to accomplish year round. So we work to build communities of support, acceptance, and opportunity for individuals and families challenged by special needs. Um, what we do is we help connect families to resources in the community, we advocate on behalf of these individuals, and we make sure that everyone in the community is involved because it really does take the people in the community to provide the opportunities so that they can be meaningfully engaged. We're here with Chanel West Coast on the East Coast here at Blue Martini in Boca. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Good. Tell us what you're up to these days. I mean, I know Ridiculousness really helped, you know, launch your career and you're a singer, going to be performing tonight. What else do you want to share with our viewers? So I'm working on a new album right now. I'm to actually touring right now. I'm working on my own new TV show, my own reality show, like, that follows my life because a lot of people don't really get to see how crazy my life is outside of Ridiculousness. So I'm doing my own show now to show, like, you know, all about Chanel West Coast. Talk to us about what you're working on right now. Uh, you know, I, I wrote a musical with all the Petula Clark songs from the 60s. And we tried it out this summer. It was a big hit and we're going to take it to Broadway. And it's been uh, kind of consuming my time. I've kind of stepped back because I wanted to get this thing done. Musicals take forever. They take, even if they're not about Alexander Hamilton, they take forever. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, Very we feel good. good. It's always good to come out for a great cause and watch a bunch of adults dress up and look silly. Well, you look stunning. Can you tell us Thank about you. your costume? This is my queen costume. Thank you very much. It comes with like a big 
fur hat, and it's just too hot in South Florida to have like the queen hat on. And a little so. mini skirt that and she little, didn't wear. But it's like a fur. I was just too hot here for all of it. So here's half of the queen costume. You and you, I love your costume it's over here. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, Rambo, whatever you want me to be. G.I. Joe. Oh, so you are approaching the finale of the show. What can you share with us? Maybe a little, you know, if you. Hints. It's crazy. It's a crazy one. It's crazy. Yeah. The per usual. Yes, per usual. The reunion's crazy. It's nuts. Yeah. It's, a, it's crazy. What a killer night here at Blue Martini in Boca. Compliments to the Berman Law Group for hosting yet another amazing fright night here. There's been so many great costumes and celebrities. You need to check it out next year to find out more information about the cause for tonight's event. Log on to unicornchildrensfoundation.org. That's it for now. For VIP TV, I'm Paige Bresky. Farewell from Fight Night. It's Bruce Valanche. Melissa and Joe Gorga. This is your girl Chanel West Coast, and you're watching VIP TV. Those were some amazing customs, very dramatic. You're right, Melissa. I definitely got some inspiration for my Halloween costume this year. Me too. And talking about inspiration, VIP TV was inspired on a road trip to the Keys and made a stop at one of the best hotels on the island, the Pier House. Right now, we are inside One Duval, which is the Pier House Resort's restaurant. Joe, I'm such a fan of this restaurant. It's fabulous. Well, welcome. Yeah, I'm <laughs> glad you're here. We have a lot to offer here at One Duval. Um, this little restaurant is pretty much our fine dining restaurant here at the, uh, at the property. So not only can you have fine dining inside, which is a great view, you're sitting right over the ocean, but you can also be very casual and go out on the main deck enjoy a fine dining experience you know as well as being casual so we can offer both if you want to dress up we have the deck option for you inside as well as the casual atmosphere outside on the deck okay joe what else do you have here at the pier house well we have a lot of great amenities here at the pier house um, we have our spa which is the only full service spa here in key west um, great therapist been here for a long time <clears throat> do a fantastic job and probably one of our biggest assets that we have is probably the chart room. Okay, the chart room is so well known here in Key West. It's an iconic bar here in Key West. Joe, talk with us about the renovation of the La Concha. Well, when La Concha first opened in 1926, it was like the hotel here in Key West. It was very elegant, very up to date, uh, very luxurious. So <clears throat> we want to kind of create that feeling again. It's very chic and lively, so if you think about where it is, it's right in the middle of Duval Street, 430 Duval Street. You can't get a better location than that. And then once you walk inside, you get that feeling that you get when you're on Duval Street. It's very upbeat, very lively. Uh, we have a nice 430 restaurant, it's called 430 uh, restaurant, which is very small bites. I have a great culinary team over there that creates a, a great pairing of food with with the atmosphere as you walk into the hotel. And Joe, last but not least, tell us about the southernmost house and what makes that so special. Oh, what a what a great little property! It has so much history. Um, goes back to 1897, um, and what makes it you know such a great little property is you think back in the 1890s, they wanted to be so special and so luxurious that they had Thomas Edison actually design the electricity in that house. So he, he helped out in terms of electricity to bring electricity here to Key West. But it's an iconic, a lot of great history. It's a beautiful, beautiful little mansion. Uh, it was residential until 1996, and then it's such time they turned into the 18 bed and breakfast of what it is today. And Ernest Hemingway spent a lot of time there. We have a lot of artifacts from Ernest Hemingway there. Up on the walls where guests can go and actually view it.
Ole, ole, ole. I'm Anna Maria Reyes, and I'm at the world premiere of the legendary Rolling Stones tour documentary, Ole, 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 A Trip Across Latin America. Now, this is one of the must-see films of the Toronto International Film Festival, and we have Rolling Stones' Keith Richards and Ronnie Wood to tell us why. To see the world from a Rolling Stone point of view, nobody else sees the world the way we do. <laughs> Gentlemen, come on in. I was opening his room service. All right, so with so many music documentaries out now, what makes yours stand out? I don't know. I'm in it. <laughs> That's enough. That's no enough. idea, um, really. I know it's becoming a, 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 a popular genre. A little more. Um, I don't know. It depends if you've got a story to tell, you know, and it's told properly, you know, a little bit of light, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of movement. And you got a movie, you know, and, and so a lot of good people. Now, you're a legend that transcends time. How have you kept um, your band on top of its games to this day? Uh, by never thinking about it as a game, and just, uh, you know, or, or that there's something to be on top of. Don't think of things that way. Think of just doing the best we can and enjoying it, you know. And maybe that's the secret. Now, you've traveled all over the world. You've performed everywhere. What made Latin America stand out to you? Um, incredible energy, All, the whole continent is, I mean, in a way, local, <laughs> you know, I and mean, they just love to express themselves in every way. I love the place, love their humor, love their energy, love their artwork, love their, their food, and everything. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. What inspired you to make this documentary in Latin America out of all the places you've traveled to? Uh, well, we thought if we're going to do one, we may as well do it on the latest tour, and that was the latest at the time. And what an eye-opener is for uh, fans all over the rest of the world to see how they react in South America, because each territory, whether it's Brazil, Argentina, Chile, you know, all over, they're all so different, but all so passionate. They all have that in common. They, they so happy to have the band down there. You know. And how did you remain legends after all these years? What's the secret? I don't know. I think it's just because we enjoy what we do and we just love to play music, you know. We've got Congratulations. a new album coming too, which is going to be wicked. Yes. Can't wait for that. Thank you. Yes. Now, those were some rocking interviews, and the streets are all empty now because everyone is inside the Roy Thompson Hall watching the film. Now, the best part of the film is that it culminates with the Rolling Stones' historic concert in Havana, Cuba, being the only rock and roll band to ever perform in Havana. Make sure to catch the film and you will get some satisfaction. From the Toronto International Film Festival, I'm Anna Maria Reyes. Whether it's for business or a girl's night out, you'll want to arrive at your next event in VIP style. So check out our unique stretch flat black Camaro or our sleek white Hummer limousines. With their club-like interiors and unique styling, you're bound to look like the star of the event. For more information or to book a limo, give us a call at 954-565-0044. Hairstyle is provided by Elite Group Hair and Color Studio. That's it for this episode. For more information, head over to VIPTVProductions.com where you will find exclusive content, links to our social media sites, and everything VIPTV. Thanks for watching.